Happy Friday, everybody. I hope you had a tremendous week, and let's dive into this weekend by taking a look at my top 10 FOC comic picks for Final Order Cutoff due Monday, March 11th, 2024. And if you see anything from DC Lunar in here that you like, you're going to want to make sure to get those orders in by end of day Sunday, March 10th, 2024. I did want to leave a quick reminder that I do have my PayPal and my Venmo in the description of this video. If you want to support the channel, much appreciated. But without further ado, let's get started. And kicking things off here at number 10 is a cover by, and that's pretty much it. It is the Birds of Prey number A cover, number 8, cover B, Derek Chu cardstock variant. There's really nothing else to talk about, so let's move on to number 9, and that is Poison Ivy number 21, and this one is the origin of the first meeting of Batman and Poison Ivy. Nice little key there. Moving this right along to number 8, we actually have TMNT ongoing number 150. This is the, particularly the cover B, this is the, the Campbell and Eastman variant, and I think this is a really great cover that really encompasses the story and it says that uh, Donatello is basically searching for his future self racing against his past but it says down here that this epic finale from writer Sophie Campbell and a roster of all-star artists pays off on years of IDW storytelling reckoning with the history of the turtles while also setting the stage for the next mutation of must read TMNT comics this I, reading that just now got me more hyped. I might have, should have probably moved this higher. I, now thinking about this, I think I want this a little bit more. But let's move right along with number seven, and that is X Men number 130. This is the facsimile edition of The Dazzler's first appearance. We got dramatic debut of The Dazzler. I think we all know about the potential of Taylor Swift being The Dazzler in the MCU. Seriously, guys, you can come at me if you want for this, but Taylor Swift being the Dazzler may be the single greatest casting in the entire history of the MCU. I said it. I said it. RDJ, Tony, Tony Stark, I still see some parts where I'm like, eh, I don't really like that part. I don't really like RDJ. That doesn't seem like Tony Stark to me. Like, a lot of his mannerisms and the way he says things and stuff. Uh, and Professor Xavier... Oh, maybe that's that's still probably the number one with um, uh, Patrick Stewart doing Xavier. But, uh, I mean, uh, Taylor Swift as Dazzler is, to me, better than uh, Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool or Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, to be honest with you. But the only other one, and they're not, they obviously can't do it anymore, would be Lou Ferrigno Hulk. That would be the most epic, obviously, if they brought that back. But uh, that's enough talking about a simple facsimile. Let's get ahead. Uh, uh, let's get a move on on this and move on ahead to number six. And that is What If Venom, number one, the second printing. I love these What If Venom books. I think they're really fun. This one looks like it's a combination of Loki and Venom. So who knows what kind of... Uh, uh, shenanigans he could have got into. I didn't actually read this, but it might be something that you might be interested in. So let's move right along to number five, and that is Ultimate Black Panther number one, the third printing. When I saw, the, I did my video that number two and maybe number one second print are actually coming out this week. I, I forget, but it didn't seem like number two or even the second print really did very well in the secondary market. So that's why the third print for me is so far down here at number five. So let's move on to number four. I think this book is definitely going to, uh, could have more hype than the uh, third print of the Black Ultimate Black Panther number one. And this is Geiger number one. I was kind of confused when I saw this, but it says it's a series premiere. premiere. It all starts here. Jeff Johns and Gary Frank return to the nuclear wasteland of Geiger in an all-new ongoing series starring the violent and unpredictable glowing man. So, um, it looks like it's a new 
run of Geiger. If you liked Geiger, which I think was a really good story the first time around, you're probably going to want to check out this second run. It probably should be Geiger Volume 2, number one, but I, I hope that's what this is. I'm not misreading things or misunderstanding. Before I get into my top three, I did want to remind you I do have my PayPal and my Venmo in the description of the video if you wanted to support this channel. That would be great. And, um,. One, one quick note, um, I don't know if you guys can hear that, this mic is much better than my older mic, you couldn't really hear it before, but my dog is chasing his tail. <laughs> and it's just so funny, I, it, some of it got caught I think on the live stream that I did before, or maybe on my previous video, so I just wanted to let you know, if you hear some sound in the background, he's just... I'm gonna have to go let him outside after I finish this. All right, <laughs> yeah. All right, we have uh, number three is Ultimate X Men number two, and uh, this one actually does have a good key value to it. This is the first full appearance of Maystorm. So these, this is I think the only one of the Ultimate comics that had a first appearance in the second uh, in the second issue. The, there was one, uh, Black Panther was, you know, the first appearance of Ultimate Black Panther, but Ultimate Spider-Man, I don't think it said that there was a first appearance of Ultimate Spider-Man or anything, so I wonder if, so anyway, yeah, uh, let's move along to number two, and that is Ultimate Spider-Man number one, fourth printing, and, I mean, what else is there to say about this other than... Um, if you haven't gotten a copy of number one first print, copy of number one second print, copy of number one third print, you could probably go ahead and try to pre-order this one. So especially remember you're going to want to get your final order due um, March 11th. It said most of them are March 11th. This particular one says March 10th. So I would go ahead and make sure that uh, you contact your comic shop and let them know exactly what day you need to get your order in or just do it, you know, sooner than later. So that way uh, you're not waiting possibly to the last minute. But all right, let's move along to number one. And that is Edge of Spider-Verse number three. And this is the first appearance of Star Spider. Uh, Edge of Spider-Verse just has been doing really well. People seem to love it. And here we have a new first appearance. So I think that's pretty awesome. And that's why my number one pick for FOC orders this week is Edge of Spider-Verse number three. All right, everybody, that's going to go ahead and do it for me in this video. And my top 10 FOC comic picks for Final Order Cutoff due this weekend. Looks like some of them are due March 10th, 2024, and others are due March 11th, 2024. So I would just reach out to your uh, LCS as soon as possible and place those orders for anything you want to make sure that you get on your list. If you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did, please smash that thumbs up button and give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel to see more great comic book and collectible content like this. And comment down below, let me know what you thought about possibly my new mic, some of my picks, really anything. Let's hear it in the comments down below. Also, just a quick reminder about my PayPal and my Venmo in the description of the video. And I did want to leave another reminder that one of the cards here is going to be my... Uh, 1k subscriber giveaway i'm inching closer and closer so you might want to check that out you can win one of two awesome slabs but with all that being said as always thank you for checking out this video especially those of you who made it this far and until next time